Okay, we're on the right. Because this is like a pit stop on the way home. It's like a it's a bog. <laughs> Whatever it is. They're like, eh, get down there and get bit by something. Cookie ran in there last week and something bit her ear. Her ear swelled all up. I had to give her stinging nettles and give her Benadryl twice. And then it kind of it abated. She even had a hive above her eye. I'm like, what did you touch? It may have been stinging nettles. I don't know. Anyway. Yep. There it is. Her mama will be here soon. I'm hoping we can put her dog on a Hermspringer and show her what it's like for the dog to respond to the communication at, at the end of the leash. Because <clears throat> she said the dog doesn't walk on a leash. She's crazy. I said, well, mine was too. Until I got her on the Herm Springer. So, and it was instant. It was instant. Because it was scientifically, real science, uh, invented by a guy that, that looked into how dogs communicate with one another and designed it after that. And it is brilliant. And the knockoffs suck. Don't get them. All right. All right, ladies. Hop up. Cookie, up. Georgie, up. There we go. Up, up. Let's go. Yeah, good girls. Heel. Cookie, heel. Cookie, heel. Let's roll. All right. That's a good girl. That's good. All right. Good girls. They're like, yeah, well, we're zigzagging, though. <laughs> hey, it's hard to be the cameraman and the... And the dog controller leader of the pack at the same time. <laughs> gonna go home? We're gonna race home.